In today's video, I'm doing a little experiment. I bought the cheapest backup camera kit I could find on eBay, and I'm going to mount it to my tractor. But not as a backup camera, rear-facing one, but instead as a front-facing camera. You know, when I'm sitting in the driver's seat, positioning the front forks under a pallet isn't always that easy because visibility is quite limited. And if I get up from the seat, well, then the tractor engine shuts down because of the safety mechanism. So that really doesn't work either. So I'm thinking if I mount the camera somewhere around the front forks, maybe I can then have better visibility, even though it's a really tiny monitor, but maybe it helps to position the front forks to, to better slide underneath a pallet. That's what I want to try out. The kit comes with everything that is needed. It comes, well, with a bunch of cables, an instruction manual. This is the camera itself. It is tiny. A power supply. This plugs into the cigarette lighter. More cables and they are long enough to run from the front of the tractor all the way to the back some mounting hardware and of course the monitor and this has some sticky back I can just temporarily stick it to something. Typically these things are wired up in a way that the monitor only comes on when you're actually driving in reverse so it gets its power from the backup lights. Obviously, I want to power it all the time. And I think I can come up with the way to do that. So this is the camera. And this is the really long cable that can run from the front, from the camera to the monitor. So this is power to the camera. And the yellow one is the video output of the camera. This is the other side of the cable. And again, this is power. And then for some reason, the video input into the monitor is the white one. So I'm connecting white to the yellow video output of the camera. And then this is my 12 volt that I plugged into the tractor. I'm plugging that into this one. And, well, we have an image. On the monitor right now, it shows these guidelines. I hope you can see them, these red, yellow and green lines. And also right now, the monitor shows a flipped image, a mirrored image, which I guess is important if you're really using it as a backup camera. However, for my front facing camera, I want the image not to be flipped and I don't really need those guidelines. So they have these two wire loops here on the camera module, the green one and the white one. One of them, if I cut it, removes those guidelines and the other one, when I'm cutting it, no longer shows a mirrored image. Let's try this out. Yep. Guidelines are gone and it's no longer mirrored. Very good. And actually I have to say the image is really bright even in bright sunlight. So I'm a little bit optimistic here that this will actually work. I'm going to mount the camera to this piece of wood like so and then I'll attach it with some clamps. This is just a proof of concept really. I just want to see if it works at all. And now I'm just using a clamp to temporarily attach it to, to the front forks. And I have to bend it in shape so it actually sees the front tip of the forks. So 
So for my proof of concept here, I won't be spending a lot of time routing the cable nicely. I'll just let it dangle for the most part. I just need to be careful that I'm not ripping it off or pinching it somewhere, but I guess that should work for now. Well, and I have to find a nice place for the monitor. I guess up here would be ideal. Um, it has some sticky back, so I guess for now I'll just use that like so. Awesome. Of course, this cable, I cannot leave that here permanently. But for now, that'll do. There's a lot of excess cable, so this is good because I can, if I really want to use it, I can find a much better way to route it from up there to over here. There's plenty of cable left. All right. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, filming the monitor while operating the tractor didn't quite work out. So I came up with this. First, I thought I can tap into the video output of the camera and record it directly, but that didn't work either. So I ended up mounting my GoPro to this 2x3, filming the monitor. And to reduce glare as much as possible, I used this leftover piece of under flooring material, which is white on the inside and highly reflective on the outside which is exactly what you need to use to reduce glare and covered it in my jacket. Alright, the image quality is terrible. It looks much better in person though. The problem here is that the GoPro camera was way too close to the monitor and couldn't focus properly. But just look at how good you can see the tips of the forks and how easy it is to position them and slide them under the pallet. And this was really the main objective, right? Um, the monitor is really sharp and well lit, so even in bright sunlight it's quite okay to watch. So you see here again, position the forks, move them down a little bit and boom. Um, this is not something I could have seen while sitting in the driver's seat. And here I snapped two still pictures with the macro lens. They have some interference patterns, but at least the focus is right. It worked a lot better than I expected. Such a tiny little camera and such a cheap monitor and the picture quality isn't that bad. It's not HD, but I don't need it to be HD. All I want is to see the tips of the forks, especially when the pallet is low on the ground and I cannot see it when I'm sitting in the seat. And it's perfect for that. If I have more time, I will permanently attach the camera, maybe in a way that I can swivel it around and, and change the angle depending on what I'm actually loading. I also need to route the cable maybe in one of those protective plastic conduits. I will do that when I have more time and I will show you the result. Until then, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.